Okay, this uh, demo is about making an image um, of your sculpture and how to make the image. And it's easy, at least in sculptures, it's easy. Uh, most computers have some kind of a print screen uh, button. Uh, you can Google, excuse me, you can Google that to find in instructionals about that. Um, this computer, that my laptop here, I haven't been able to make get my print screen to work. I believe me, I don't know why. Um, I guess I need to do the uh, uh, instructional, look it up. But I have something else that works for me, um, uh, an app that does it for me. But in Sculptris, it's built in. There is something built in. So uh, what you do is you go into options. And then you press save image up at the top. And then you can save your image, um, whatever folder you want. You have the choice of PNG or JPEG. I usually pick JPEG. Um, I don't know that there's any difference. Um, and then I'll title it, you know, uh, you know how to do all that business. So anyway, um, it's rendering it right now. Press OK when it's done, that's it. And what it does is it, it saves the image like this. It gives you a clean background. Um, it doesn't have all this information. And so uh, what you want to do, what I'd recommend is centering your object. Um, Let's see, centering it and making it as large as you can. Now, I, I make it that way because I want the highest resolution for my image. Uh, but if you don't have Photoshop or some kind of photo editing software, then maybe you don't want it to be as big as the screen. Maybe you want it to have a little bit of space. That's up to you. I would say go to the next step and learn how to do a little bit of photoshopping or photo editing. Uh, but that's not for this particular demo. Another thing you might think about, the background, you could go into options and you could choose a background. Uh, in the Sculptress data file, it gives you a background, but I've added all kinds of different colored backgrounds. Um, to just kind of mess around with the different color combinations. So I have uh, this material, uh, maybe I want, you know, so I think about color, I'm thinking about color often. Uh, I think about the image as a um, work of art, not just a demonstrate or not just a uh, example of the piece, but I try to make it a work of art where it works, it functions with color um, and form and, and space. Um, so yeah, that's what I would do. I would probably, and I'll do another tutorial about how you can, um, all these materials I pretty much found or made on the internet. Um, so I can show you how to go through that. And that to me is a big part of the piece is how you can have a lot of fun with the different materials that you can apply to it. Um, so that's it. You remember, go to the options, go to save image, place it in your file, save, let it render. That's it.